हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नाथ द प्रॉब्लम बिफोर गोइंग फॉरवर्ड इफ यू नॉट लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज लाइक इट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड हिट द बेलाइकन सो दैट यू गेट नोटिफाइड वेन आई पोस्ट न्यू वीडियो सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डू लेट गेट स्टार्ट इट सो सो प्रॉब्लम इज शॉर्ट लिस्ट राइट इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन हेड ऑफ अ लिंक लिस्ट एंड वी हैव टू रिटर्न द लिस्ट आफ्टर शॉर्टिंग इट इन अडिंग ऑर्डर दैट इज वी आर गिवन अ लिंक लिस्ट एंड वी जस्ट नीड टू शॉर्ट इट Fine. So uh, there are many ways we can do this. So either we can use insertion sort, right? So this test case. Let's uh, take this test case. Four, two, one, three. So we are given this linked list. Four, two, one, three. We have to sort it. So after sorting, it will be something like this: one, two, three, and four. So this will be the output. Fine. Output will be this. now see just simply we need to do sorting right uh, and uh, sorting we can use insertion sort so you can check the video in the description insertion sort or but that will be see insertion sort will be o of n square approach in the worst case right uh, so what we can do is we can use merge sort merge sort to sort this linked list merge sort so merge sort is n log n time complexity so we can use merge sort now the question is that how we can use merge sort in a linked list so for this problem right for this uh, problem there are two prerequisites which you need to know first of all you need to know how to uh, do merge sort in simple array like how to do merge sort you, basically you should know how merge sort works and secondly you should know how to merge two sorted linked list two sorted linked list so i have create uh, i have uh, uh, created a video on this uh, merge two sorted linked list so link will be in the description i will highly recommend first go through this video and then come to this video so see these two prerequisites you need to know that is merge sort in array how it works and merge two sorted linked list fine so see let's use merge sort to sort this linked list so see very it's very simple merge sort is very simple what in merge sort we do in merge sort what we do basically is we divide the linked list so this linked list is given we will be doing merge sort on, on this right so in merge sort what we do we divide the linked list so we individually sort the left part so this will be the you can say left or you can say the first half this is the first half and this is the second half so we will divide the linked list into two halves we will sort this so recursively this will be sorted we will assume that it's sorted so this linked list is sorted 2 4 and we will assume that the second also is sorted so Uh, like as of now it's already sorted so after sorting this will be 1 3 fine now what we did was we have sorted the first half sorted first half then we sort uh, first of all see first of all we found the middle middle of the linked list that is we divided the uh, we divided the linked list into two halves right then we sorted the first half then we sorted the second half sorted second half that is this one fine after that what we will do we have to this is one linked list this is other linked list right what we will do we will merge these two linked list together these are sorted linked list this is also sorted linked list this is also sorted linked list now we will apply the logic of merge to sorted linked list so merge to sorted linked list means uh, we will be merging these two linked list together in sorted sorted order so this when these two linked list are merged they will become 1 2 3 and 4 and this is our output this is our output so basically what we are doing here is what we are doing we will be finding first of all we will be finding the middle of the linked list If we will recursive, this is the recursive policy. We are sorting now. First of all, 
firstly we have to sort this much linked list right we have to sort this entire linked list initially then what we do we divided this problem into sub problems what sub problems this is a sub problem smaller problem this is also a smaller problem fine this also we need to sort so sort earlier we were sorting the entire linked list now we are sorting this this linked list first so this is a recursive call right this is a recursive call we are just doing the same thing which we were doing for the whole linked list that is we are sorting it but right now the input is smaller than the whole linked list like this input is smaller so this is a recursive call and this will also be a recursive call so this recursive call will sort the right half like the second half and after that once we got the this linked list which is sorted and this linked list which is sorted we will merge them we will merge these two linked list together so merge fourth step will be merge to sorted linked list merge to sorted linked list right so basically this was an overview of how merge sort uh, in linked list work so these are four steps which we will do now let's dry run once right let's dry run so let's do one thing here let's have this linked list so we have linked list uh, which is given to us is 4 2 1 and 3 fine so first step is we will find the middle of the linked list so for middle finding middle of the linked list we will be using a, a slow and fast pointer approach slow and fast pointer so if you do not know how this approach works then i will uh, provide the link in the description uh, for the middle of the linked list you can check that video first so see so in order to find in order to find the middle of the linked list what we will be doing we will be starting slow we will initialize it with the head right that is head is what four and fast we will initialize with head again which is what four so what we usually do uh, in the slow and fast pointer approach slow moves by one position and fast moves by two positions right so slow and fast both are initially at 4 as of now then slow will come to 2 one step and uh, fast will go two steps so 1 2 so fast will come here then slow will go one step ahead and fast will go two steps so 1 and 2 so fast is now at null so see when fast reaches null so wherever your slow is that is your sec like the uh, head of the second linked list like the divided linked list so this is one linked list and this is a second linked list fine so uh, the head of the first linked list will be head only because this four was head and this one which is the head of the second linked list that is your slow point so slow will have the head of the you can say head of the second half second half or second linked list right so this way we will be dividing these two linked list so 4 2 and also what we will do now we will be keeping a previous to this slow that is a temp variable we will be keeping it here that is it will be one st uh, step before slow because over here we have to right temps next to be null that is four twos next should be null now because then because right now twos next is one na so we have to break that connection so for that we need to know what is this uh, previous node before this slow so that's why we'll be keeping a temp variable also fine so this is one linked list so and the other one is one and three so our three is not, is all already null so that's why we do not have to explicitly do null for this but here we will do temps next is equal to null right so this was one step right this is first step we are finding the middle of the linked list and we divided into two linked lists so let's see the code for that also side by side we'll see the code and we will dry run so see this function is given sort list and uh, we are just like simply checking if head is null so this is a base case if head is null or there is single node in the linked list return head fine then what we are doing we are taking three variables see slow and fast initialize to head and temp is initially null then we are uh, see this is a basic how to find the middle of a linked list this logic if you are not aware of this 
I will highly recommend you can watch uh, the video to find middle of linked list. So after this loop, we will have uh, in the slow in the slow we will have the head of the second linked list. And the temps next we will do null. Temps next we will do null. So that four two four uh, twos next is now null. It's not pointing to one. It's now null. So see. Now, what 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 was the next step? Next step was to sort first half. To sort first half, right? Sort first half means this first linked list which is there. We need to sort it. So this is a sub problem, right? Earlier we have to sort this entire linked list. So we have created this function sort list which will give us the head of the sorted linked list, right? So here this function sort list will return one. Which is the head of the sorted linked list. Now, sub problem is that we have to sort this for this linked list. So, when we will recursively call this function a sort list, it will give us the head of the sorted linked list. So, if you sort this, this will be two. This will be uh, two four something like this, right? After sorting, so sort list function will return the head of the link list so 2 will be returned so here l1 will have 2 we will not see how this sort list function is internally like again recursive call how it's working uh, we will just simply assume that we are like this is working fine you can also dry run and see how it's uh, basically working inside but uh, but let's not do that right now because then it will be very lengthy so basically we are assuming that it will give us the sorted link list this will be the linked list and it will return the head. So L1 will have 2. And L2 is the slow. So slow we are passing the head of the second linked list. So head of the second mm -hmm. linked list which is 1, 3. Here slow was pointing to the head of this linked list. Right slow. So uh, we are passing this sort list. So, so what we are doing we are sorting the second half. And it will return the head. So 1 will be the head of the sorted linked list. Right, so here we will have 1. Fine. Now, see what we need to do. We have, so we have, we have this uh, linked list 2, 4, null. And we have this linked list 1, 3, null. L1 is here. L2 is at 1. Fine. Now we just need to do one thing. We just need to merge. This is also a sorted linked list. This is also a sorted linked list, right? We just need to merge these two sorted linked list. Merging these means making a sorted linked list of both of these linked list combined. So when we will merge them, so we are we are calling this function merge. Uh, we are calling this function merge list, and we are passing this L1 and L2, which is the head of these two linked list, L1 and L2. So this merge list will give us the will give us the uh, final head of the merge linked list. So if you merge them, one, two, three, four will be the merge answer, right? And from this merge list function, we will get the head. So one we will one will be returned. So that we are returning. If you are not clear how this merge list function is working. I will highly recommend. I will give the link in the description. You can check that video how we can merge two linked list, two sorted linked list. So see guys, in this way, uh, we are doing the merge sort. So one will be returned, which is the head of the sorted linked list. Right. So see, it's exactly similar as we do merge sort in array. Same steps. Just here we have linked list and there we have arrays. Same steps. We find the middle. We divide the we sort the left half, we sort the right half, and then we merge them together. Right? This is a classic merge sort. So see time and space complexity. Let's see that. So see time complexity is O of n log n. Fine. And space complexity because uh, if you remember when we use arrays, then space complexity is O of n. But here we are using linked list and we are not using any extra space right we are just changing there only so it will be o of 1 fine 
so i hope you found the video helpful and you understood uh, all the uh, prerequisites video link will be in the description please go through that first otherwise you will not be able to understand and if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video